How far would you go for your pet? Well, some people get custom furniture or even professional photo shoots. Pet expert Jen Fidel joins us now to show you how pampering your pet is completely normal. Right, Jen? It is very normal, and if you do so, you're in very good company. <laughs> the pet industry is $50 billion strong, so pet parents are, are doing lots of crazy things, and some not so crazy. I'm here today at Uptown Pups in Atlanta, and I swear I could take home an airplane full of goodies for my two, two boys at home. They have the cutest, most adorable strollers and blinged out collars and just even plain good all natural pet food um, but other crazy things people are leaving money to their pets in their wills these days to the tune of 13 million dollars most re recently to a cat in italy yes and uh, diamond encrusted collars Do dogs and cats are going to day spas and being lavishly treated treated pet owners are throwing birthday parties bark mitzvahs you name it um, most recently though pets are starting to get plastic surgery which i don't know how i feel about that but pets pa pet parents are doing it um, but not everyone's so crazy there are some level-headed pet parents out there that just want a healthy and happy pet well i think that's a great point is that yes we love our pets. I'm a, I'm a pet parent as well, and I love my animal. But, you know, as, as much as we go above and beyond to pamper them, we do have to make sure, like you said, that they're happy and healthy. How do we ensure that in the right ways? That's the most important thing, and, and I would just focus on feeding the right food, giving a lot of exercise, lots of love, and then being proactive in their health care. When it comes to food, I think that's the cornerstone of their health is nutrition. So find the food, the best food you can afford, and understand what your pet's nutritional needs are. For example, Hill's Ideal Balanced Natural Pet Food was actually formulated by a group of pet nutritionists, and they guarantee their foods to be 100% balanced, guaranteed, or your money back. So it's a great way way to try maybe a new all-natural food for your pet. And when I talk about being proactive in your pet's health care, that means going to the vet every year, regularly, maintaining an open line of communication with your vet as well. But there are so many easy and cost-effective measures you can take at home, such as you might need to find a lower-cost pet prescription, let's say. VetIQ has a huge line of pet prescription medications, over-the-counter flea and tick control, even pet wellness supplements that will guarantee your pet is healthy and happy, but at a cost-effective way to you. So you can find these products at Kroger's or Walmart even. I like that. Exercise These are great love. ways to make our pets, you know, lives better, yes. healthier, happier. Can we make our lives a little easier as well? Yes, you know, the number one problem pet owners have with their pets is stains and odors. And that's not any different in my household. I have two fur boys, Abe and Chico. And the only thing that I have found to work pretty effectively, consistently, is the two-in-one power of proven Oxy Stain and Odor Remover with Scotch Guard Protector from 3M. The Oxy Power totally gets that stain out of my carpet. And then the Scotch Guard protects the carpet from being soiled again and again and again because they love to go in the same spot. Uh, so that's one way to make your pet life easier. Uh, pet parents probably should definitely look into a pet ID tag. They have QR coded pet ID tags on the market these days. So if your pet does get lost, a simple scan of the QR code will populate your information on the person's cell phone or smartphone and uh, your pet will be returned safely and soundly and quickly to you. So those are a couple of ways. I think that's great. We also always need to make sure our pets are safe, like you mentioned. So a great point there. Uh, any place that we can go for all this information? Definitely visit moretipsforyou.com or you can check out my website, thepackmom.com. Jen, thanks for being here on the Morning Blend. Thanks so much. Take care. Absolutely. And stay tuned because the Morning Blend will be right back.